Good afternoon, everybody. Phil Simons with Columbia Grain here in your Friday afternoon weekly grain market recap. Well, let's go ahead and dive right into it. I do want to share my screen with you again here. We're going to navigate to our favorite website, ColumbiaGrain.com, before we really get into the meat and potatoes about what we wanted to talk about here today. But again, if we navigate to our favorite website, ColumbiaGrain.com, and in the upper right-hand corner, we can navigate to our producer solutions link. And let's just see what actually happened, you know, in the markets when the dust settled here today. And again, right in the latest news section, we see that what the weekly futures ranges and changes were. And again, really, the uh, the overall volatility definitely continued to magnify this week as the ranges actually did increase a little bit. But the overall net changes really did bring us back close to unchanged, with the exception of Kansas uh, old crop Kansas uh, futures, which were actually closed down 19 cents on the week. But if we look over in the left hand corner, we see that the weekly range for corn uh, was 11 cents. And when we actually settled out, we actually had a net loss of three cents there. And next up, when we take a look at old crop soybeans, the weekly range was again 42 cents. Uh, the weekly change, we actually were able to gain six cents week on week. Uh, when, we, when we turn the page and look at the wheat complex again, we do see that Kansas had a weekly range of 35 cents and the weekly net change was actually down 19. And next up, when we take a look at Chicago, we had a 31 cent range there, but the weekly change, we actually lost three cents. And finally, when we look at Minneapolis, we had a 26 cent range there. We actually closed the week with a net gain of one penny. So again, really just trying to emphasize the importance of having your orders out there and working. Uh, so please get a hold of your local merchandiser, uh, buyer, or manager to get your orders out there and working with them. But really, I'm going to stop sharing my screen here, and I do want to introduce uh, Keith Keith Horton. He's going to be our, our new seed division manager uh, based out of our Great Falls office. And Keith really does come to us with an extensive history, and is going to be rolling out some really exciting new products and packages down the road. So really just wanted to have an opportunity to, to sit and talk with Keith. So Keith, why don't you introduce yourself to us? Yeah, thanks, Phil. It's really good to be at Columbia and thanks for having me today. Um, you know, I've been working in agriculture for over 25 years. Most of that was in seed R&D, multiple crops, a little bit of corn experience, some soybeans, canola, and uh, camelina most recently. Um, and I think it fits well. You know, when you look at what we offer at Columbia, we've got everything from corn and beans in the east. You go across Montana, the central area, you hit pulses and wheat. And then, of course, in the PNW, kind of that same mixture, oil seeds and, and the grain. So a lot of things to play with, a lot of things to offer our customers. That's wonderful, Keith. We really are looking forward to all the different types of programs and products, you know, that you see on the horizon coming on. So definitely welcome to the CGI family. It's great to have you on board here. Thanks. Great, great being here. And yeah, looking forward to meeting as many of our producers as, as we can in the, you know, in the next crop season. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap everything up for the week here. Just have a good weekend. And remember, if you can drink it, don't trade it. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll talk with you next week.